I'm Conway Mayor Bart Castleberry, and it's my honor and privilege to have the opportunity to provide another State of the City address to you. The state of our city is strong and full of momentum heading into 2023. Let's start with finance. The city is in excellent financial position. Sales tax collections were up 11.4 percent over 2021. The fiscal year 2023 budget was approved by the Conway City Council in December with all funds either at surplus or break even levels. No reserve has been pledged to, any, to balance any financial activities for 2023. Our current general fund reserve stands at $17 million. And our planning and development part, departments. Conway continues to attract people, business, and investments. We annexed 85 acres into the city in 2022. We issued 376 uh, single family home permits in 2022. And we celebrated several economic development victories like West Rock Coffee and Workforce Development Center, just to name a couple. Sanitation Department. The Sanitation Department continues to do an excellent job. They just have tremendous personnel and crews. Uh, not only do they take care of our residential and commercial routes, recycling, but they also partnered with the Renewal Ranch in our Adopt-A-Street program. And in the last year, they picked up over 12 tons of, of litter around our city. Uh, again, I'll say the same thing I did last time. Don't understand litter. There's really no excuse for it. Public safety. Like many cities throughout the country, Conway was not immune to recruitment and retention challenges in our police and fire department. The Conway Police Department, through substantial police raises, we have now brought our police department in line and in most cases ahead of other departments in the state. With the raises we've implemented, uh, we'll be able to recruit new officers and retain the current officers that we have in order to provide safety to our citizens, our officers, and to combat crime. Conway Police Department, uh, through a behavioral grant, behavioral health grant, uh, has taken a proactive approach in addressing mental health calls. Two crisis intervention training classes were conducted with more planned in 2023. In addition, the first of two community or crisis response teams were deployed. They also paired one officer with one social worker to create the first full-time true co-response teams in the state of Arkansas. Conway Fire Department. Conway Fire Department also received substantial raises. They have added two more paramedics, which gives them a total, which is, again, towards Chief Winter's goal of having a paramedic on each engine throughout the city, which in turn will provide a higher level of medical response for our citizens. The Fire Department had 8,832 emergency responses and 10,553 uh, calls for service in the city. And their crews trained for over 60,000 man hours last year. Construction has also started on new fire station on South Hark Rider, and it will be named after our former fire chief, Doyce Ballard. Stormwater drainage, $5.4 million of our American uh, rescue funds have been appropriated to drainage throughout Conway. Downtown will be one of our areas, but also many areas outside of the downtown area, uh, specifically some of our ditches that uh, you'll notice some of the block work is starting to deteriorate. We're gonna rebuild some of those, but we're also going to work to improve drainage throughout the city. And we've been working on that now for about three years and uh, this $5.4 million is gonna give us a tremendous boost in that. Transportation. Well, if you'll remember, in 2017, I made a promise that if, if the citizens of this city would pass a 3 8 of 1% sales tax, we would sunset it at the end of five years. First. Citizens of Conway, let me thank you for, for voting to approve that. Now it's sunset time, and it sunsets in April of this year, and we're going to do what we said. It will cease uh, in April of this year. I would like to thank the City Council uh, also, our citizens, and for voting for it, and the City Council for helping me keep that promise. We have paved over 120 miles of streets in Conway. Donaghy Avenue Phase 2 uh, we're about 75% on Donnie. We're probably still 12 to 16 months out before it's complete. But as you know, we've already put a coat of asphalt on there. And once we're completely finished with it, we will put another layer on there and it's gonna really be nice. And I appreciate your patience on that. It's been been a lot of work because there, were a lot of, there was a lot of uh, infrastructure there that had to be moved and replaced. After we are finished with Donaghy, we will start on Salem Road. We did not want to do both north-south corridors, major corridors at the same time. The first step will be replacing the Salem Bridge, and uh, from there we will, we will begin working on, on the Salem Road itself. But one of the 
good things about the bridge is our bicycle and a pedestrian trail will go underneath the bridge. We launched Metro Connect in 2022 in partnership with Rock Region Metro. We started in October 2022. You can get a one-way trip anywhere in Conway for $2, and already this service has provided 4,500 trips. And we are adding two more of the vans to the uh, fleet because it has been so popular and it has worked so well for our citizens. Uh, it's going to take some time to get those two new, two new vehicles in just because, you know, we went through about a two-year period there where getting uh, materials was, was hard to and, and it put car dealerships and uh, manufacturers behind, but we're on the top of the order list and as soon as they come in, we will get those in service. Our Oak Street Adaptive Signal Project is set to begin in the coming weeks and this project aims to reduce traffic congestion through the whole corridor through better signal synchronization. We were awarded $24.6 million from the U.S. Department of Transportation for the Connect Conway Greenway Trail System. Connect Conway aims to build a safe and equitable transportation system through investment in 15 miles of bike and pedestrian infrastructure. It will become a viable transportation option connecting 10 city parks, seven schools, three major retail areas, three or higher education institutions, 14 major employment centers, 16 neighborhoods, and other vital community services. I hope you noticed the work that we're doing on our old sidewalks. Uh, we've continued to work on our old sidewalks and getting them back into shape. Uh, I've had several folks can, uh, comment to me that, hey, they started walking in their neighborhoods and seeing their neighbors out and talking. So we're gonna continue to focus on our, our old sidewalk infrastructure and to add new sidewalks in the city. Community development. We have continued to provide in 2023 transportation funding to areas of, to area nonprofits uh, like the Independent Living Services, the Senior Center, and the Boys and Girls Club. Our Conway Overnight Shelter is set to open in late April this year and will house up to 50 people and provide an access point to multiple resources. Parks and Recreation. Between the McGee Center, the Don Owens Complex, uh, Conway Expo and Event Center, Conway Tennis Center, Conway Station Park, and City Colleges Park, we hosted 169 events. And with the addition of our new turf, we feel like we're going to be have more events this year. We will not have to worry about rainouts. We celebrated the opening of Martin Luther King Jr. Square while honoring the life and legacy of Dr. King. Uh, we also honored some of our local African-American heroes and business leaders in the city. The square demonstrates a different future for stormwater management Conway. The park transformed a brownfield site played by flooding into a lively stormwater park and a cultural asset for our city. We added a mile of trail to the Stone Dam Creek Trail. The construction of Veterans Plaza is underway. Uh, folks are always asking me, where is Pompey Park? Well, and where's the Veterans Plaza? It's, it's, if you're on Prince Street, it's all that work you see going on there, right there next to the uh, neighborhood Walmart. It will be a uh, space to honor our, the sacrifices made by our military veterans, their families, uh, past, present, and future. So we're really looking forward to that. Laurel, Gatlin, Fifth Avenue, and Bainbridge Parks all received significant investments this year. We added pavilions, soft surface area, shade structures, playground equipment, and fencing around the playgrounds. Uh, we're set to break uh, ground on our Conway Soccer Park, uh, 10 fields in February, and the Conway Community Center, we are scheduled to break ground on that this summer. I would also like to give a shout out first to you, the citizens of Conway. Thank you for allowing us to serve you. The Conway City Council, the department heads and all of our and all of our employees in the city of Conway, but I also like to thank the Conway Corporation uh, that worked so hard with our engineers so that we keep things moving in Conway, especially on our streets, uh, their management teams and their administrative teams, and I'd also like to thank the uh, Conway Chamber of Commerce and the CDC. Again, we're looking very forward to another uh, very good year in 2023. The phone number for my office is 501-450-6110. Call us anytime. May God bless. Thank you.